The top tonight, new developments in a dispute over property valuation. One of that pits the one that pits the Nueces County's tax appraisal district against Valero Refinery, one of the county's largest industrial entities and a major employer. Yeah, the company says their property in Corpus Christi is worth less than what the county says. But Chief Appraiser Ronnie Canales is standing behind his team's decision. Our Madeline Dart joins us with the details on this top story. Maddie. And Joe Leslie, the district, has taken legal action by hiring a firm out of San Antonio. Canales says Valero has not come to him with their concerns, but rather gone to other local officials about the value of their property. I told you it's been a back and forth battle between the appraisal district and Valero. Canales has been told that his appraisal of their property in Corpus Christi is too high. We're under the understanding that they're telling people that we've been doing this year after year after year. Well, to begin with, that's not true. And I feel that they should be paying their fair share. The property was valued at $1.2 billion for 2019. We have made it a habit to make sure that we are consistent with what we do here. Mm -hmm. Consistent to us here is transparency, respect the taxpayer, also communicate well. Yet, Canales says he's had city and county officials telling him Valero thinks otherwise. See, they can talk to the entity whoever they want to as far as their expansions, but they shouldn't be talking about value. I've reached out to Valero several times and have not yet heard back. So what would happen if the Valero property was appraised at a lower value? It affects Corpus Christi Independent School District. It affects Del Mar. It affects City of Corpus. It could also affect homeowners. Canalo says while Valero is paid up for their taxes, he's still working with a law firm to settle the matter. You still need to pay your fair share of taxes. Of course. Not because you get 50,000 here, 20,000 there, 30,000. I'm um, the best thing ever happened. Because that's the way it's turning out to be. But at the end of the day, if any changes are going to be made, it's not going to be made by them. It's going to be made by this office here, the appraisal district. And again, I've reached out to Valero multiple times and we're still waiting on a reply. Back to you guys. All right, Maddie, thank you so much.